welcome to my channel where we talk about things we love like gaming shows and anime. Tekken 4 was the start of the next gen at the time. We got great new characters like Christy, Murdoch, and Steve Fox, a boxer who could now be the rival of my favorite Taekwondo fighter, Warang. And one of the things I gotta say I really liked from this game were the stages. I know many players don't really care for the stages, but I find them to be one of the main things I like from a fighting game, and this game did a great job with that. My two favorites were the beach and the jungle. But anyways, today I'm going to show you all 10 awesome facts you probably didn't know about Tekken 4, so sit back, put the cookie down, and let's begin with the list. Number 10. This is the only Tekken game that allows you to save your replays. However, you cannot save replays in infinity time in the game. I wish the next installments would have given us the chance to save our replays. Every now and then I get an insane knockout that I would have loved to share with you all. Number 9. This is the only Tekken game to feature the position change which allows the player to move before the fights. This was taken out because fans did not like that position change replaced every character's throw. There are many ways to throw but apparently a specific command was more important to the fans so it was never brought back. Number 8. In Tekken Force, if you play as King, he has a combination of moves that will toss the opponents around which will take out every opponent that's surrounding you. The only downside is that the move takes up a good amount of time, so maybe try it only once per stage? Number 7. This is the only main Tekken game in the series that does not feature a playable Jack robot. The Jack models are always brought back for every game and you get to see the newer and more advanced models, so it kinda sucks to not include them in this game. It's like Yoshimitsu, we look forward to seeing what new designs he's got in the next installment. But another character who's been in every Tekken game is Anna Williams and even she does not appear in the game. Not even in Nina's ending, and sadly there are no explanations to their absence. Number 6. Just like the endings in Tekken Tag Tournament 1, the character endings in Tekken 4 are not CGI and instead they are in-game graphics, which is a bit of a letdown considering the fact that the CGI cutscenes are a part of the awesomeness from the Tekken series. Number 5. Tekken was once known as the realistic game series and Tekken 4 definitely showed more realism since most of the characters had more simplistic outfits and there were barely any supernatural characters in the tournament. The realism of Tekken was what I liked the most about this series, but now it looks like the series is becoming more like Street Fighter, so to me that's a bit of a bummer. Number 4. In Christie's ending, there are two recycled characters from the audience who appear in Martial Law's ending. One of them is the girl with short hair wearing a black jersey. She is seen eating at Law's restaurant. The other one is the guy who said that Law's cooking sucked, and he's seen in the crowd where Christie runs over to Eddie. Now, there's another character from Law's ending who is seen in another character ending. That's this guy over here, and he's seen in Steve's ending in the background. Number 3. The music from the statue stage is a randomly selected music track from the arcade versions of Tekken 1 and Tekken 2. The statue stage can be unlocked by completing the story mode with Steve Fox. Number 2. The game's boss battle is not against a new stronger opponent, but it is instead Heihachi Mishima, the same final boss from the first Tekken game. Also, this is the only Tekken game so far where the boss battle takes place in a walled stage instead of an open area stage. Number 1. In the last stage of Tekken Force, which is Mishima Fortress, there are four enemies by the name of Anthony, John, Chad, and Flea. These are clearly the names of the rock band members from Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, share with others, and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to notify you of every new video that gets uploaded to the channel. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, check out the link in the description, and follow me on Twitter to find out which videos are up next. Anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow, and remember to have an awesome day.